Tell an old story anew, and we will see how well you know it. Once upon a time, in the land of Arendelle, arose a kingdom ruled by the great King William and Queen Erasabe. It was the year's winter when the kingdom celebrated the birth of the royal children named Princess Elsa and Princess Anna. It was a celebration of feast and joy that every folk alike enjoyed. Until the envious and greedy queen of the Moors presented herself uninvited. How does she know you love her? How does she know she? How does she know that you love her? Oh! How do you show her you love her? How does she know that you really, really, truly love her? How does she know that you love her? How do you show her you love her? How does she know that you really, really, truly love her? It's not enough to say the one you love her again you must remind her all she needs What a glittering assemblage. King William, royalty, nobility, and gentry. How quaint, even the rabble. I must say, I really felt quite distressed in not receiving an invitation. You're not welcome here. Oh dear, what an awkward situation. You're not offended? Why now? And to show I bear no ill will, I think shall bestow a gift on the child. No! We don't want your gift! Stay away from the princesses! Listen well, all of you. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all who meet her. That's a lovely gift. But she shall possess a power so deadly, the frost will spread all over her body, and soon she'll stain her hands bloody. This curse will last till the end of time. No power on earth can change it. Because Maleficent had viciously uttered has been the king and queen's own nightmare, and though it had inflicted deep pain and guilt in their hearts, they had to lock away Elsa from the cruelty of the world. They had to keep her safe behind the concrete walls of the kingdom, with just maids to keep her company, and for Princess Elsa never understood why. 
Both princesses grew up to be very fine young ladies, but for the sake of succeeding the throne, one must succeed the other. As comparison of both princesses, occurred Princess Anna, who was the eldest, mostly caught her parents' attention. That left Princess Elsa in deep depths of her sister's shadows. Look at her in the spotlight. I love her purple hair. She can do what she wants to. As crazy as she dares, she doesn't need to be polite. I wish I had her life, then I would be so free. I wish I had her life, I'd be another me. Look at her in the throne room. Every hair just right She is tea in the morning And bonbons every night Wouldn't that be nice? I wish I had her life Then I would be so free I wish I had her life I'd be another me They do my nails I show the grounds I would wear Whatever And then I'd rock Have time for me It just might happen Never I wish I had her then I would be so free Then everything would suddenly be just the way that I dreamed it could be I wish I had her life 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 Princess, what's wrong, my princess? I'm a failure. That's not true. How much longer will I stay like this? I can no more endure the distress of loneliness. Now, now, don't be so hard on yourself, princess. I never intend to be always left behind Anna's trail. Why don't we go out? It's forbidden. We'll just take her out for a while. A little walk won't hurt her. Just don't tell the others. What do you say, princess? Thank you. Some fresh air would soothe me. Um, wait! Excuse me! Excuse me! Ow! Ouch! Ow! Sorry! Excuse me! Excuse me! Oh my gosh! What is that? You seem to be lost, my lady. Why, I suppose, Mr. Andre, and you are? Elsa, Princess Elsa. Oh, the princess? What brings you here? I'm pleased to have finally met you. I was just out for a walk. I'm not really fond of strolling around here, but then my maids lost me. Then perhaps you'll need an assistance on your way back. Yes, but I do not wish to go back just yet. Then can I do the honor of showing the princess around? I'm sorry, but I do not know if I could trust you. Nonsense. You know my name and I know yours. We're almost becoming friends. But, um... Oh! <laughs> Shining, shimmering, splendid 
Tell me, princess, no, when did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder, over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride. A home to live, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go, or say we're only dreaming. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when a way appeared, it's crystal clear. Then now I'm in a whole new world with you. Thank you for your time, Andre. I will be needing to go back soon in the palace before it gets dark. Princess? Our deep apology for the misfortune a while ago. Princess, have you been safe? No need to worry. I have been careful not to be seen by my father. It seems like you bump into someone for you to come back this late. Well, he's... He? Ooh, you must have had a fine afternoon spent with the lad. Indeed. He was too kind to accompany me. I don't often get to talk with men here, you know. Don't tell me you're falling in love, princess. If there's a price for rotten judgment I guess I've already won that No man is worth the aggravation The station history been there, done that Would you think you're kidding? He's the earth in heaven Do you try to keep it hidden? Honey, we can see right through you Girl, you can conceal it So good when you start out My head is screaming, get a grip, girl Unless you're dying to cry your heart out
I won't say I'm in love. Determined to see the princess again, the fair lord is adamant to roam around the palace in search for the lady. Have you known where Princess Elsa would be found in this time? Can we ask why would you be looking for her, sir? Um, uh... How did you know her? She might not be able to talk with random people here. I just met her in the market yesterday. Were you the one who escorted her back to her room? That would be correct. So can I ask where she... So this is him? The one the princess likes? It is him. Young lad, we are tasked to protect the princess. She is not supposed to meet with men. But... You want to meet her again, right? If it would be alright. Nobody should know this, but you could meet her again in the kitchen back door. Thank you so much. You, you can tell her no. Tell her no. no. Shy, Girls, no. what's the matter? The boy you told us. The one you met at the market. What about him? He'll be meeting you. <laughs> Wait, what? How? Father won't be happy with that. Hush now. Go now. Go now. He'll be waiting for you. Don't forget to smile. Andre, what are you doing here? Is it wrong to seek for you? It's good to see you again. Come on, let's go out again. But wait! Accompany me, princess. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bump into you. I was thinking the same thing. It's like I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's a party topping with the chocolate fondue. But with you, but with you, I'm back. I babe. see your face, and, and it's not the like I've ever been. known before. Love's an open door. Love's an open door. Love's an open door with you. With you. With you. Crazy. What? We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. I've met someone who thinks, thinks so much like me. me. Jinx. Jinx. Jinx again. Our mental synchronization can help in one explanation. You and I were just meant to be. be. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to, to the pain of the past. We don't have to feel it anymore. Love's a no bad. From then on, both of them had a routine of meeting secretly. Princess Elsa would sneak out of the room to meet Andre. That's how their love blossomed. The king asked for your presence during his announcement. May I ask what announcement would that be? The bow for Princess Anna, Your Highness. I do not wish to be called over such insolent matters. Tell Father I will go to the ball but cannot witness his announcement, for I am much busy for the moment. Are you okay, Princess? I'm fine. Thanks for your concern. Then I'll take my leave. Excuse me, Your Highness. When massive preparation, the ball that was awaited by every royalty, a 
has finally occurred. It was a day of precise beauty and elegance for every fine lady and handsome gentleman. Excitement filled the atmosphere, but jolted immediately as they welcomed the royalty of Arendelle. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, princes and princesses, welcome to Arendelle. Father, can I find myself a man to dance to? Sure, sweetie. How about you, Elsa? Don't you want to enjoy the lovely evening? I have no... Albu! <clears throat> I mean, can I have this dance, princess? Definitely! in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through no matter how your heart is grieving if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true no matter how your heart is grieving If you keep on believing The dream that you wish Will come true You're pretty lovely, my lady. You're not bad yourself, Prince. Good evening. It has been a great night for all of us. But tonight, we came here for the purpose of hearing the King's announcement. And now, as part of the Treaty of Treason which the Old Fathers had created, two kingdoms shall offer a princess and a prince of their own to be united as lovers to maintain a stable relationship between kingdoms. For this year, the Kingdom of Arendelle and North King had the privilege to be the chosen ones. For Arendelle, the chosen lass is Princess Anna. And the chosen lad from the Kingdom of North King is Prince Andre. I know nothing about. Silence! Do not fool me with your lies! No, Elsa, please! Wait, I said enough! Sorcery. I knew there was something dubious going on here. Elsa. <sighs> What did I do? You have no right to lay a touch on your sister that you just killed. 
You are a disgrace. Leave. Now. No. I'm sorry. Flower, clean and glow. Let your power shine. Make the clock reverse. Bring back what once was mine. Oh, sweetie, we thought we'd lost you. Anna, I'm sorry. And as every fairy tale ends, it was expected to be a happily ever after. The curse was brought down within Elsa, and everything went well since then. But that was not it. The law of the old fathers relating to the Treaty of Treason was disembodied from every kingdom on land. Princess Elsa and her lover Prince Andre was finally married after a while. Bye. Uh...